Welcome back at RC the customization series. This is lab number three in which we'll start the post-production of our car. Uh, in the previous episode we did the pre-assembly so we now know that the parts fit together but we want to finish it and make it look cool. So what do we need to do? Yeah, last time we talked about giving the car a color. So um, can you tell a bit more? What colors are we going to use? Yeah, of course. So my plan for the car was to have it in shapeways colors, of course. So that's white, black and blue. Um, for this we're gonna go for a couple different uh, methods, so some of it will be dyed using our normal production methods, like okay. if you would buy any colored parts from Shapeways it will look like this, and some of it will gonna paint, so we're gonna go to uh, how to prep it for paint, how to actually spray it. So what, oh you see that spray painting, so we yes. need some additional steps to actually yeah, yeah. do that. Everything has to be cleaned up, everyone has, everything has to be prepped. And you know how to do that, right? I do, yes. Okay, then you'll make sure you'll do the spray painting. And I'll check in with uh, the experts from Shapeways to see how we dye the profits. I'm standing here with Lisa, our SLS team lead. Lisa, what do we have to do in order to prepare the parts for dyeing? Yes, before we dye our parts, we first bring it to the polisher. We have three awesome polishers. There's the filled with ceramic stones. We made it happen that all our parts uh, get a nice polished look. Also, that we go to dyeing. So these machines make a rotating movement and it is filled with pellets which will scrape off the surface of our products. Why is that needed before we dye them in a different color? That makes it happen that those products are getting a more, more even surface. With this even surface also the dye will be more even. So that will make it happen that the color is all the size of the product the same. Okay, so it will create a better consistency in the color, yep. but also create a better feeling for the products. Okay, Second. then let's have a look how this works. Yes. So we took this part out of the polisher. This is the battery holder for uh, holding the battery underneath the car. Yeah, and I can feel the surface is really uh, a lot smoother. But what do we have to do now? Yeah, so now this part is ready to get dyed. Then we go to the dyeing pot, which is here, actually. We prepare all the parts. Uh, we bring the part to the dyeing pot, uh, which is filled with water equipment. Uh, the part will go there for a couple of minutes. We have to wait. So we see all of these big pans here. And each pan represents a different color. Exactly. Let's make some uh, plastic suit there. Yeah. We just had a look at our strong and flexible team, how they dyed and polished uh, most of our parts. And uh, now I'm going to talk you through the rest of the steps we're going to do for uh, finishing all of these parts and uh, giving it the color we want it to be. Um, one of the first things we are going to do, and I prepared a few already, is uh, clear coat all the dyed parts. So here we, have, uh, here we have all the parts side by side, the ones without the clear coat and the ones I already painted. Um, you can see the unpainted ones on the left and the ones on the right, they have a clear coat. The difference is not that much, the color stays mostly the same. Um, but the nice thing about it is that it has a little bit more shine, a little bit more contrast, so the color pops out a little bit better. And it's, uh, yeah, it's much easier to clean because the surface is uh, a lot smoother. For the next part that we want to paint uh, gloss white eventually, you can see all the paints uh, next to it, um, we need to start with sanding. So with 3D printing, one of the problems you have is that you have stepping on the parts sometimes. Especially curved parts with a very small radius, they will have some stepping that we need to sand off because it will show after painting. 
So what I did is I start with a, a pretty coarse sandpaper. I start with a 180 grit and move my way up to 400 eventually. Uh, in the meantime, with some painting. Um, so I start with uh, with getting the rough parts, sand them with the 180, then paint them in primer, just a normal grey primer made for plastics. And then after it, I sand it down again, continue with uh, 180 paint again, then go down to 240 and then eventually 400. Um, so what you can see here is uh, the normal parts with some stepping. These uh, are still very rough. From there on uh, I sand them, they're smooth and the piece I have here shows you uh, the difference between uh, a painted part in, in primer and when it's sanded. You can still see some of the grey areas. These are ridges that I need to sand out eventually. But um, yeah, this is a process you have to do a couple times to make it uh, perfectly smooth. Another method we use for coloring all of our parts is painting them. Uh, we have the blue dyed parts, but some of the body panels we want uh, in gloss white and uh, in nice and shiny smooth finish. So for that we're going to use spray paint, um, some uh, primer, some gloss white and some clear coats. Now we finished all the post-production on all the parts and uh, we can assemble them but we'll do that in the next episode so stay tuned.